That's perfection. <laughs> uh, first of all, thanks for having us here. Um, my name is Dixon Patton. My tribal name is Bidja. We started Bayella Creative a few years ago, bring a platform and give access to the broader community. You know, we're often revered as being the world's oldest storytellers, world's oldest culture, and I just don't think that Australia celebrates that enough. You know, through these opportunities and these corporate partnerships, we're able to give the broader community access, um, you know, given we're a small community, and we're able to share our stories and tell our stories, and just grateful for the platform that Shell has given the community, uh, especially on the world stage. So I just want to, yeah, thank you for that. The inspiration for the work is about honouring, you know, different countries. So before colonisation, we were, you know, over 500 different language groups uh, across Australia. Each of those come with their own you know, totems and dreamings and stories and history and I, I was trying to find the link between, you know, like shell and Aboriginal culture and where I found the common denominator was um, our shell midden. So how they find that we're some of the oldest cultural sites is for the shell midden. So there's mussels, river mussels, uh, ocean mussels. Often when they find those shell middens, there's also charcoal for the campfire. And so it was when community and families come together to, you know, eat, um, you know, it's a universal thing that we all come together as human beings and when they carbon date it, that's how they find out how old those sites are. And so some of those sites they found have been over 40,000 years old. And so you can see in the design of, of uh, acknowledge that. So you've got the U-shaped symbols um, that are here, that they represent community, people sitting. And then behind it, you've got these kind of like circle shapes, they represent the shell middens. Um, you can see all these kind of linear patterns um, that are going across the car. They represent the different communities and, like I was saying, the diversity uh, that we have. You know, I made this on Jar Jar Run country. I'm from Yorta Yorta country, where I'm Yugen Bear country, but it's going to Larry Key country. And so it's important to acknowledge that. That's why we do smoking. You often see when people have the smoking welcome the country. That's done out of respect for um, people that are visiting. Just the places that we live and work and visit, I just want people to kind of acknowledge that they're on someone's country. And so it's important to not just put us all in the one basket. The history here is very different to history where I'm from. And when we go into Darwin, they've got you know, their own history. So it it's hopefully makes you curious about well, who's there and what's the history there and um, how can I acknowledge that respectfully. And then you've got the different gum leaves as well that are in there as well, I think you can see. We use the gum leaf, uh, especially Victoria, for welcome the country ceremonies. The reason why we do that also is about cleansing, so it's cleansing the spirit, just honouring you as a visitor on country. And also too, like we're often attributed as being traditional custodians, but more than that, like you're all custodians of Australia now. You live here, your families have been here, you've got history here. So it's not about saying, oh, it's us and them, it's about saying it's just us, you know, and we've all got a responsibility to where we go together collectively in the future. And so that's, that's my hopes for when people see the work and embrace the story. Thank you.